resume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. and comics collide. Now to take you inside and turn the pages, here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hi, and welcome to Kablam! I'm June, and doing his best to look Snazzy is my pal Henry. Our show today is absolutely kablammy. Yahoo! Henry's all jacked up because he thinks his girlfriend is coming to visit. She she's not my girlfriend. She's a distinguished member of the Action League and a crime-fighting superhero. If she's not your girlfriend, then why do you blush when I say Thunder Girl? Thunder Girl. Thunder Girl. Is it hot in here, or is it me? While Henry cools off, we'll heat up the action. Here's part one of Action League Now. Dateline. Big Kitchen National Park. Hey, Johnny! What do you see down there, Pierce? I can't see a thing. It's so dark. Hold on. Let me see if there's a light switch. Oh, here's one. Pierce, are you all right? It hurts! Action League. Now, starring the flesh, he's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman, with the power to melt. Today's episode, Sinkhole of Doom. Come on, Thunder Girl. What do you say we go to that concert together? I'm talking Molly Hatchet. Front row. Uh, I can't, Melt Man. I've got to, uh, I've got to fill my ice cube trays that night. Admit it. It's because I'm melted, isn't it? I disgust you. No, no, it's not that at all. Okay, listen up, you guys. We've got ourselves a traps for lunch in Big Kitchen. This one looks like a real political hot potato. Why's that, Chief? That's Spelunker? He's the mayor's son. Pierce! Action League, away! <laughs> Very funny, you guys. Now get me down. Meltman, Flesh, get your butts over to Big Kitchen now. Stinky, get her down from there. I wonder what's taking them. I'm gonna get help, okay, Pierce? Help! Hey, go, Thunder Girl. I'll cut you down from there in a jiffy. Stinky, no! There's got to be another way. Don't worry, you plastic head. You needed a haircut anyway. Stinky, no! Harpoon ahoy! Oh, blimey. <laughs> With Thunder Girl and Stinky out for a spin, will the squealing spelunker be indisposed indefinitely? Not if these two cheap plastic playthings have their way. Stay tuned for the action puree conclusion of Action Beat now. Green eggs and kablam! I hope Thunder Girl gets to Pierce in time. Oh, me too. 
As long as it doesn't interfere with our big date. I guess we'll find out in the action lathered conclusion later in the show. Hey, Bubs, give me a sniz. A sniz? It's that time again. Hey, it's my pompadour! Snap me down. Here comes Sniz and Fondue. One tarantula. This is Hogus. The display card shows one. And we're not leaving here until we get it. We've got two quarters left. Maybe the last two are both spiders. <laughs> By the magic of Sniz, a spider it is. Not. Lucky lasties! Who's the boy, huh? Huh? Lucky, lucky boy! Crack that, mama! Yes, so. the front buzzer? No, let's be naughty. Besides, what can happen? <laughs> Holy roots! Now, what can I do for your lower classmen? Hmm? We depleted a whole machine and didn't get the spider. As advertised. We demand spider justice. In good time, Stout Huffman. But first, what would you say to a tantalizing tour of my novelty Nirvana, hmm? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Be sure to enjoy Sinclair products. Enough of this. It's payback time. It's locked! Bondu! Help your little buddy! No snush! Turn here, you buffoon. There's something I'd like to show you. What are those wretched objects, Beetleston? Those are items C381, sir. Plastic spiders. I know, I know you, robot. I'm the one who asked you to dispose of them. Throw them out? But, Mr. Sinclair, tests show that kids love these the best. Oh, that's why we don't put them in the machines, you underling. So kids will keep coming back hoping to get them. Oh, man, that is deep. I'll destroy all of these recreational arachnids myself. Beetleston, allow the door to pound your buttocks firmly on the way out. Thank you! Now, to transmogrify plastic into profit. <laughs> Let the melting commence. Move faster! Sniz, I'm here for ya! Totally sick, right? I decree you rapscallions have caused enough mayhem for one day. Oh, yeah? Well, we're going to tell the media about your scam. Is that so? Then I guess I'll have to turn you both into sissy combs. 
Ooh, sissy combs. <laughs> Imbroglio. Get off of me! Only under one condition. Blamoids, keep your dairy air and your cherry air. Still to come, Prometheus and Bob, Angela Anaconda, and more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Kablam! Hi, and welcome back to Kablam! Before we return to the cartoons, let's take some time to whip up a tasty treat. What a fine idea. Today's delicacy, baked Alaska. First, you'll need some Alaska. Alaska, our 49th and largest state, is also one of our most beautiful. The tundra that Henry's digging is actually a moss, the basis of the caribou's diet. P -p 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 Just bake at 350 degrees. We don't have an oven, so we'll have to use Henry instead. Huh? Henry and Thunder Girl sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-M-G. There. Good and good for you. Just like our next cartoon. Here's Prometheus and Bob. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 71, cooking. Huh? Okay. Oh. Uh. 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 How you doing? All right, then. <laughs> Let's get right back to the cartoons and... Angela Anaconda.
Today's episode will be starring me, Angela, my boyfriend, Johnny Abadi, and definitely not starring Bug Brain, Nanette, and War. With me? But anyway, it is Valentine's, and I have made this for Johnny Abadi. And then he gives me a piece of unchewed chewing gum, freshly rewrapped in the original wrapper. I hope you like grape. It was like a fairy tale out of the movies. Then Ninny Wart comes along and gives him a big and stupid card, bought and not made by her. Johnny, haven't you a valentine for I, your Sherry Amour, which is French for it better be nice. I brought you this. A macaroni horse head for Valentine's Day? Thank you, John. What a thoughtful and inexpensive way to say you care. Oh, so you two, Johnny and Nanette, are now Valentines, huh? First comes love, then comes marriage, and then comes Angela Anaconda to annihilate both of you. you, 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 you. My little turtle doves, and let Cupid shoot you with her magical love arrows of desire. Ooh, too bad Johnny Backstabber forgot to properly close the safety bar. Ah! Help! Help! She will tell me. I can't swim, even if I did get an A in swimming because of sucking up to the teacher, Queen Anaconda. Better swimmer than I. in the entire known world, Nanette Manoir, because you have no time for water sports and recreation. Ah! You have to get married. You must take these, my dearest Nanette. A beautiful bouquet of flowers. Notice how I said bouquet? It is French, just like you. Are not. <laughs> Oops. I forgot. You are most deadly allergic to flowers. Oh, well, you will certainly feel better when Johnny kisses his bride. Do I have to? Yes, you do, Johnny Abati. Just remember, you could have married Angela Anaconda, but it's too late now. Let us now celebrate your storybook love with a traditional rice throwing of 2,000 metric tons. It's you. Excuse me, but you have, like, half a roll of toilet paper trailing behind you like a lunatic. Like a lunatic. Hey, Johnny. I didn't do nothing. Do you like macaroni? You know I do, Angela. Good. Because you are going to eat this card. <laughs> Kablam! Hey, coming up next is the action coded conclusion of Action League Now. And guess what? Henry's gonna rescue Thunder Girl and save the day. Right, Henry? Maybe we should come back later. I'm not dressed for action. Of course you are. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Gravity. Ah! Hang on, Henry. Ah! Ah! 
let's try this again another time. Now here's the action plaster conclusion of Action League. No! When we last left our story, Pierce, Pierce, Thunder Girl and Stinky, Fandango. With time running out, a gravity-defying decision is made to fall like a bag of hammers. Hang on, Flesh. This baby's taking us just where we want to go. This is getting old fast. It's this way. Trust me. My sense of direction has never let me down. Hello? Anybody here? Uh, I think I'm gonna pin. <laughs> Gross. You're disgusting. No, I'm Stinky. Stinky Diver. Listen to me, Johnny. There isn't much time. The knob. You've got to turn it. Sure thing, Thunder Girl. No, you idiot! Oh, my stomach! Oh! My hair! Oh! Don't worry, Pierce. Here I come. Didn't you used to have hair? Didn't you used to have legs? I still say it's that way. Oh, can it, Melty? I was going to ask you out to see Molly Hatchet play tonight, but now that I'm a mutilated stump, I'd understand if you'd say no. Looks aren't everything, Pierce. Hey, what about me? I'm mutilated, too. Come on, look at me. I'm much more repulsive. Blamenhauser. That was action. Right, Henry? I can't believe Thunder Girl kissed that guy. He's a chewed up stump. Love hurts, Henry. I guess she's not coming to see us. Guess not. But, uh. Man, oh man, it's been quite a show, hasn't it? Quite a show. Sorry I'm late. Hi, June. Hello, Henry. Thunder Girl. Is he okay? He's fine. He just ate a little too much Tundra. Well, that's it for today, sports fans. Come on, Thunder Girl. Give me a hand with this. Wait till Meltman hears about this. Adios, everybody. That's Spanish for catch you later. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. <laughs> <laughs>